I was knocking on this door, officer. My father used to live here. It's condemned. It's condemned. It's condemned. What do you think all those yellow stickers are for? What you want? What you want? What you gonna do? When Sheriff John Brown come for you? So initially, we got a call for a burglary in progress. Uh, the caller stated that uh, a male, white male, was on an enclosed front porch and was stealing stuff. Get out here! Hey, he's hiding something. He's hiding something. Sir, what are you doing up there, sir? Don't. Do not do that. I, do I did not drop that right there. He's got a knife. That, that is not mine. Sir, I just picked it up off the porch, I swear. Sir, I swear. I'm not even doing it. Get down! It. Stop, Stop resisting! Stop us right now! You never know if he's, if he is trying to break into the house, he could be trying to assault us to get away because he doesn't want to get arrested. And we've actually had several contacts with this guy before, and he's always had knives on him or weapons at least. I mean, he's just a bad, bad dude. He's got several felony convictions for assaults and weapons charges. And I honestly think if he wasn't in such a compromised position, he probably would have tried fighting us harder. That was the only resistance he could have is just trying to pull away from us. Had he gotten the knife out, it would have went bad quickly. But the fact that we were on him so quickly, we were able to pretty much control his movements for the most part because it was such a small space. I have nothing illegal on me, officer. I just grabbed. Well, except for I that big knife. I grabbed the knife off of the front porch. I swear. Do you have any warrants, Richard? No, I do not. I grabbed. I, yeah, I grabbed these these book cutters or the, the, that the, that wrench cutters, and I grabbed uh, the knife right on oh, the, the side of the deck. I'm gonna run his name. Real there's nothing you illegal I have on me. I swear. Remember, don't you? Didn't we? Didn't we get him for prohibited person before? I think so. Yeah. yeah. We Down did. off we of uh, William Street? Yeah. He lied about his name, yeah, and then we got him with the, the, with the stun knuckles, gun. Right? Yeah. He yeah, had the yeah. stun knuckles. You're, you're right, officer. Yeah, that was you, man. There's not a day that goes by that we don't get lied to or that somebody yeah. will minimize what they've done to make themselves look better um, or try to justify why they've done what they've done. Oh, so you knocked on the door and she yes. said, I'm not letting you in? Yes. Yes. That was by the lady that lives there inside. Jen, oh, okay. I know her. So she said, I'm not letting you in. Why'd you stick around? I wasn't sticking around. I was what like, where's want? my dad at? So you were sticking around to ask more questions? No, 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 sir. No, sir. I said, where's my dad at? And then she wouldn't answer me. I thought he still lives here. So Officer, I know the lady. I know the lady inside. I know her. Okay. Burglaries are really hard crime to solve because most of the time people don't leave a lot of evidence. They come in, they take stuff, you know, they watch CSI, so everyone wears gloves. Unless there's a good witness statement by a neighbor, which it, honestly it's rare that there is, being close is so important to catching the suspect because without that, the chances of solving the, you know, the burglary go way, 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 way down. People are often afraid to, to come forward because they're afraid of retaliation or whatever they've seen on movies and stuff, so they don't want to come forward and tell us who they are to give us that great description, tell us where they went. So we're left with an anonymous caller and we have to go with what we have at the time and usually they're gone. It should have been obvious to him at least that there should be no one living there because the house is condemned, it was really run down. And this guy knows all of his history, this is not a nice guy. So to put him in jail after finding another deadly weapon on him, yeah, it's a good feeling. It's a good day. Yeah. <laughs>